I don't need to say anything about Tom Watson except for the fact that the only reason this event exists is because of all that Tom has done. This thing doesn't happen without Tom Watson. So Tom, please come up and say a few words. Tom Watson. You know, thank you is uh, too small a word. Every, for six years, uh, uh, I see a lot of the same faces here. Six years you've, you've been here for us, uh, for, our, for our community, the ALS community. The positive things that we're seeing here, you'll hear from Jeffrey Rostate. Uh, he's, the, he's the hero in, in this industry. Jeffrey promised me about five years ago, in five years, they're going to have a cocktail of drugs which will probably be significant in the slowing down of the disease. Our support of these experts what is what's necessary. And that's what we're doing here today. Bruce uh, left a legacy of uh, these caddies I just mentioned. He left a legacy that uh, is still maintained by a lot of the, uh, the people who caddy out there today. I was very, very lucky and I always remain very grateful for the fact that in 1973, in that summer, in St. Louis, that this long-haired kid came up to me and said, Tom, do you have a caddy this week? Thank you again for your great support of this. We uh, really appreciate it. Hope you come back many, many more years until we don't have to come back anymore. I'd like to think that what we do here tonight, what we do every year, uh, is a small tribute to who Bruce was because he was just an extraordinary guy, as Tom said. I don't use the word blessed a lot, but I was certainly blessed to, to have Bruce as a friend. So thank you all again so much for being here. Now that we've dispensed with most of the serious stuff of the night, I would like to bring up David Faraday. He's just been an extraordinary friend to, to Tom, to me, and to this, this cause. He was a great friend to Bruce. So I'm very proud to call him a friend and to introduce David Ferret. A really strange thing happened to me today. There was a DFW about 20 minutes ago, and I'm checking in. And you know, you got to, uh, with, with your driver's license and the boarding pass. And some of you may have noticed that I d don't look exactly the same as I did last year. I've lost a little weight and I've uh, put on a little hair. And uh, my my driver's license photograph doesn't look like me at all. I'll give the woman that. I'm going with the insane Civil War general look here recently. <laughs> and uh, she looks at it and she says, I'm not seeing it. And I said, okay, fair enough. So she brings her supervisor across. This lady comes over and she's looking at it and she looks at me and she looks at it and she says, I'm not seeing it either. <laughs> and she says, do you have another form of picture ID? And I thought to myself, oh, actually I do. So I go in my wallet and I pull it out and they have my driver's license, which looks like this, which doesn't look like me. And I give her my concealed handgun permit, <laughs> which does look like me. And so she looks at this and she goes, oh yeah, yeah, that's you. She looks at this and says, do you have the handgun with you? I said, no, that's the point of having the concealed part. You don't tell anyone. <laughs> it occurred to me just before the master started this year that I'm an American. In this country, you can buy yourself thin. So I had the surgery. I went to the, uh, uh, the Barker Bariatric Clinic and, and I said, you know, am I a candidate for this? He said, well, he said, you're remarkably thin, uh, you know, for someone to, to want it. Uh, he said, but you are a big fat guy. I said, well, I mean, what does that mean? You know, I mean, will you, will you do the operation on me? He says, it just depends. He says, will you pay me? <laughs> I said, isn't this a great country? I said, yes, I will. <laughs> and and the, Monday, the Monday after the Masters, no, I'm only going to show you this little bullet hole right here. See that little, little crease there and a little crease there? That's it, 70 pounds. I'm back to being me, and this time I can't, I actually physically can't get fat again. If I, you know, I ate like a half a steak and part of that dessert, and I'm about to throw up on Feinstein. The Bruce Edwards Foundation is supported by rooms like this, and they're the reason that we have this room and the opportunity to raise this money to hopefully beat this dreadful disease. There's a much more important speaker uh, coming up next. Uh, Jeff is one of the leading researchers uh, in ALS and is one of those who will eventually, you know, be responsible for finding a breakthrough.
to give us a report on pro the progress we hope is being made in ALS research is the aforementioned head of the Packard uh, Research Center for ALS Research at Johns Hopkins University, Dr. Jeffrey Rothstein. Jeff? There's an enormous uh, thank you to, to John for the entire uh, number of years he's done this, and of course to Tom and the Edward family for being part of this and really setting this up to help us with ALS research. Over the years, the Packard Center has now funded um, on the order of at least 12 to 15 million dollars to individual researchers. So the, the other end of that is what has this group done? What we've done in 10 years is really build the tools necessary to find the answers for ALS. More than 50% of all clinical drug trials today come out of Packard Center researchers. The kinds of things that we're doing now, just to sort of bring you up to speed, are in fact uh, new drug trials. This year we've, we have a company out of California who are developing drugs that will actually make muscles stronger. At the other end, we have drugs that will make nerves grow faster. And again, that might help patients uh, prevent the nerves from dying. And today we have almost 10 different ALS clinical trials ongoing. That's because of people like you. You guys, you men and women, corporate entities, individual donors, you make the difference. You make this possible for us to move forward quickly. So I deeply thank you for what you're doing to help us to help families like the Edwards families and future families who will face ALS. Thanks again.